Live mobile video is the newest battleground for social media platforms squaring off to keep users active and capitalize on ad dollars. Apps like Periscope, Meerkat, and RhinoBird are the biggest and newest names when it comes to live streaming video. Twitter, which owns Periscope, said in August it had 2 million daily users since its April launch. And the competition is heating up. Facebook, which boasts 1.3 billion monthly users, says it will enable journalists with verified profiles to broadcast live video to followers. Snapchat, with 100 million daily active users, added a feature allowing people to show short videos through its live feature. But one of the biggest challenges for growing these live video services, cost-conscious customers. Watching video and streaming a broadcast from a mobile phone is extremely data-heavy. According to AT&T's online data calculator, watching just five minutes of video per day will eat up more than two gigabytes of data. That's an entire $30 monthly data plan from the carrier. Live video consumes less data because it's lower quality. But watching the same amount of Periscope broadcasts each day on an Android phone will still eat up more than one gigabyte of data by month's end. And that means paying more for more data or getting charged for going over your data limit. But this is not news. According to an Ericsson report, 37% of smartphone users say they limit watching mobile videos because of the data cost. But while carriers like Verizon and AT&T are seeing dollar signs and trying to nudge consumers into buying more expensive plans, companies like Twitter and Facebook are working to cut down on data consumption from video. Facebook is working on designing social apps that consume less data and perform better with weaker connections. And Twitter has reduced resolution of images in emerging markets where network connections aren't as fast and data plans costlier. So for now, when it comes to watching mobile video, less is more.